Dr. Rhonda Patrick here. Today we're going to discuss how vitamin D can affect the way you age. But first, let's cover some of the basics. Vitamin D is actually a steroid hormone that controls the expression of over a thousand different genes in your body. What that translates to is vitamin D actually controls over a thousand different physiological processes inside of your body. The primary source of vitamin D is UVB radiation. Our skin can make vitamin D upon exposure to UVB radiation. And in fact, we are not unique to this ability. Mushrooms also have the ability to make vitamin D upon UVB radiation exposure. And mushrooms that have been out in the sun are actually a great source of vitamin D. There are a few factors that affect the ability of our body to produce and use vitamin D. First is sunscreen. Sunscreen blocks UVB radiation. Second is skin pigmentation. Melanin is a natural sunscreen. Third is age. As we age, our body becomes less efficient at producing vitamin D, such that a 70-year-old produces four times less vitamin D than a 20-year-old. And last is body fat. Body fat actually affects the ability of our body to use vitamin D by reducing the bioavailability of vitamin D, which is fat soluble. So the more fat that you have, the more vitamin D stored in that fat and less of it's being released into the bloodstream. There is a sweet spot when it comes to vitamin D. Too much can almost be as bad as too little. The optimum levels of vitamin D in serum are considered to be between 30 and 80 nanograms per milliliter. The CDC estimates that only 30% of light-skinned Americans have optimum levels of vitamin D. And in fact, darker complexion Americans fare even worse. The best and safest way to increase your vitamin D levels is through increasing your dietary intake. The richest source of vitamin D is fish. And as far as supplementation goes, the National Institute of Medicine set the tolerable upper intake of vitamin D at 4,000 international units a day. Since it's often difficult to assess how much vitamin D you should be supplementing per day, it's a good idea to routinely get your vitamin D levels tested. That way you can actually tweak the amount of vitamin D that you're supplementing per day in order to find that sweet spot of vitamin D levels that you want. One of the interesting things about vitamin D is that it has been shown to regulate the aging process. Telomeres are tiny caps at the end of your chromosomes that protect your DNA from damage. You can sort of think about telomeres like the tips of shoelaces. They protect them from fraying. Every year, our telomeres get shorter and shorter until eventually they burn off and our cells die or they go into a permanent state of arrest. So telomere length is actually a biological marker for aging. Now here's where vitamin D enters. Two epidemiological studies on twins found that those individuals with the lowest levels of vitamin D also had the shortest telomeres. And this telomere shortening correlated to five years of biological aging. It's thought that the anti-inflammatory properties of vitamin D are partly responsible for delaying the attrition of telomere length. Another piece of evidence that vitamin D regulates the aging process comes from a recent study that found that individuals in the highest quartile of vitamin D, which was between 40 and 60 nanograms per milliliter, actually had an increased lifespan. And this final link, more of a mechanistic insight to how vitamin D regulates the aging process, comes from animal studies. Mice that were genetically engineered to either disrupt or increase vitamin D resulted in premature aging and shortened lifespan, which really highlights the importance of the vitamin D sweet spot and why you should use the tools at your disposal, such as routine testing for vitamin D, to fine tune your own vitamin D levels. I'm Dr. Rhonda Patrick, and I'll catch you next time.